And oh, one thing, it's, it's interesting. My very good friend told me, you have uh, been cursed by Jackie. I said, what is the curse? He said, well, um, all the fighters in, in Jackie Chan movies, all the final fighters, the big fights, they never made it themselves. They never made it big themselves. And I said, really? And now you think about it, right? All those final fighters, like, they never really made it themselves as action stars. So, so basically Ron, uh, the last fighter could break this curse. Yes, yes. I want to break this curse. Exactly. <laughs> now we're talking. Hey guys, in this video we're going to discuss, is there a curse for actors who work on Jackie Chan films? My guest today is Ron Swarmberg, and we did a series on whatever happened after the Jackie Chan film, Who Am I? This is kind of part of that series, but we're not going to discuss too much of that film in this one. We're going to talk about Scott Atkins. We're going to talk about Ron Swarmberg's passion project. We're also going to talk about time. We're going to talk about life. We're going to talk about a lot of things. I think Ron and I really uh, mined some nuggets of wisdom here, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy that, appreciate it. It's one thing to look forward to when you get older. You get wiser. Anyway, make sure to check out Ron's YouTube page. I'll link in the description below, and please help support my channel by hitting the like button, subscribing, sharing the video. And with all that said, let's get on with this discussion with Ron Smorenberg. Jackie, to be honest, he made me look amazing. Sure. It's just his documentary. Jackie himself, he, he made me shine. Thank you, Jackie, if you ever see this. It's just those documentary makers who needed to have something you know, over my dead body. I just want to be as honest as possible everybody who watched this interview like like what i what i experienced that's it and you're yeah. the first one to reveal that the yeah, so it, it's kind of like um you know fixing that documentary in a way because like I, I made the point about documentaries guys we can't take these things as factual they are creating stories with yeah. footage that they happen to shoot and in my personal opinion i don't doubt jackie chan was acting a little bit because anytime you're being filmed, you're going to put on a show to some degree. Like, you're not yes. to yourself, but you're going to kind of, you know, take things up a little bit for the camera. And he knows there's oh. a documentary on him and his stunt team, so he's going to be a little overly dramatic. He is an actor. There's no reason why he wouldn't act in a documentary, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you, you, you take all my words already. Like, this this is, I think, what, what, what it is. Yeah. We could shoot the same stuff and like, for example, yeah. this video, with what we talked about, I could make Jackie Chan, I could just use enough to make Jackie Chan look really bad, but that's not the point yeah. of this video, and I don't want to do that. I yeah. just want to kind of make right. things look more, like, fair and honest. And, yeah. you know, it's it's not to make you look good or Jackie bad no. or anything. No. It's just like, no. No. let's kind of keep this more unbiased and give you guys a little more context that that documentary which was biased towards making Jackie Chan and his stunt team look really superior compared to everybody, which in some ways they probably are, right? But yes, they, they needed the a sacrificial lamb. You just happened to be that lamb that got sacrificed. That's it, yeah. And I take the sacrifice. I accept it till 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 now because it, it also because things are not true in there. But I, the sacrifice as as my life my life growth and experience what happened to me. It, it became a beautiful story. And wouldn't it be amazing in the future if this is the guy who got buried by, by this documentary of Jackie Chan gets up for, out of that, right? And, and, and at, in 20 years later, he's making his own action movie. What are you working on right now? Like, I know you have a movie in development, like your own movie, right? Yes, yes. You want to so, talk so yes. about that? Okay, so now I'm, uh, I'm preparing my own movie project. It's called Last Fighter. It's, it's really a story from, from the underdog, a real life story with drama. And um, it's also, it's not only about martial arts, it's about life as well. And, and martial arts is the vehicle mm -hmm. for all of this. It's very beautiful, uh, very powerful. So after this movie, people are gonna overthink their own life. Like, what am I doing with my life? You were not created just to make a living. Until you discover that purpose, for which he was created, you will never be fulfilled. Never. It's a little bit like Rocky kind of thing, but it's, it's very original. It's the chance of a lifetime. You can't pass it by. What do you say? Did so you I'm working on it right movie? now. You wrote the movie yourself? Yes, yes. And, and uh, actually, I just got a song 
for for the score from a very cool composer. So I'm working parallel while while um, adapting, finalizing the final bits of the script. I'm getting music in, checking okay. locations. Oh, cool! A very amazing actress we have in mind. Uh, it's very beautiful, and this I'm very confident in this. So so I'm I don't think we need to beg for money. The project will attract the money to do this, mm. and I, I believe that. Like, and it, I take time to do it right. Take it easy. We got plenty of time. We, we want to make a difference in this world, guys. What you said, like the movies in the '80s, right? Yeah, they make this difference, and, and I, mean, I want to do difference. that. Like I said, they have a soul. Like they're alive. Yes, and people fondly yes. remember and watch them all the time. Like the stuff they yeah. come out with now, it's so disposable. It ain't no one's gonna care yes. in twenty years. They're never gonna be like, "What? I don't want to watch this." You know? Yes. Um, yes. Are you directing this movie too? By the way, the Last Fighter. Uh, well, uh, I, I need a good director because I'm also I'm 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 acting in it as a main guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, sure. so, so I, I want to have the best action director possible. I have some. I mean, I'm in the talks with some people. Uh, they they're good. They have been on some big shows, okay. and they're very um, a little bit like. They very, they they have the passion of the old days, but they also can think in the new style, as combined, combined. Yeah, okay. I need both. Yeah. I need I need this, I need both. Um, we're still looking for a good director. We have some amazing actors involved. Mark Stas, I can say Mark Stas will be there. Uh, check him out, Mark Stas. For me, he's like the new the new Jet Li. Mm. Check him out. Ring Flow, Mark Stas. Okay. Yeah, He's an upcoming good. action star. I, I saw him. I said, you should do movies. And, and that's what I said. Like, if you can impact on somebody positive, do it. Right? Instead of putting people down. Like, let's, let's you know, like your channel. Right? Let's empower people to, to, do, to do something cool. Maybe I will have to do a cool movie with you, David. Right? Maybe you're yeah. in there. Hey, Maybe I'll, I'll work something. on some with you someday, man. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Hey guys, I got the perfect movie idea for us. I'm going to call it Another Showdown in Little Tokyo. So the original one says, one's a warrior, one's a wise guy. They're two LA cops going after a gang of Japanese drug lords, feet first. So the sequel is going to be, one's an actor, one's a YouTuber. Together they're going after a group of Hong Kong gatekeepers. Now if you watch the previous videos, Ron had made a reference to these gatekeepers in Hong Kong that kind of keep people out of the movie industry. So, funny enough, one of them actually created a gatekeeper shirt because I guess he's really proud of that title. And in response, Ron created a shirt called the Lockbreaker because he had mentioned that in a video. So, you're like that thing, um, you know, that breaks locks. I forget what that, the Lockbreaker. I'm the Lockbreaker. Yeah, so, bust those gates open, man. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, Viking Semi will definitely bring the van damage. Ron Swarmberg will bring his unique fighting style that he developed called Recharge. It's basically influenced by video games, karate, sealot, wing flow, breakdance, taekwondo, and a whole lot more. Ron says recharge stands for a lot. Technically, it's based on chain lighting, which rebounces off. So some punches will rebounce into blocks, and blocks rebounce into punches like it's almost one move. Whoa, a counter! It's a very interesting concept. Ron really wants to add something unique to the action movie business and also to motivate people as well, have them believe in themselves and their uniqueness. I like that. Like-minded people can, can, can move mountains. Yes. That's why the team of Jackie as a team, right? They can do any movie. They have the, the template and they can move mountains with that. Just give them a script and they go. And, and, and you have to find in your life, your kind of template of good people around you who are not insecure. And, and this template of people, you can move mountains. Yeah? Part of that is your wife. Right? Yeah, Part of that that's is, definitely important. Yes. <laughs> really important. Then you have that. But some people are still having like like some unfinished stuff in there and they're still struggling with that. So they cannot really have that power to to move forward. Something is holding them back. Make your team. You are the casting director of your life. You cast them. They don't cast mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Everybody great has gotten ridiculed. Arnold Schwarzenegger got ridiculed. Yes. He was too big. His accent was too thick. Stallone got ridiculed, you know, with the way he spoke. In the uh, Van Damme wow. got ridiculed. What are you, the ballet teacher or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm dancing, yeah. Like, everybody gets ridiculed, man. Like, it just, yeah. the greatest of the greats were tried to be held down by people who not only didn't believe in them, but thought they were crap, essentially. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, real quick, since you brought up Scott Atkins earlier, he, you know he does that web uh, series, The Art of Action. Yes. Like, have you been on that? Like, you would be perfect on that because he'll interview different people, and you have been yeah. in so many movies and fight yeah. scenes. Yeah. Like, you should totally the thing is, that, man. It would be great. Uh, actually, they, they spoke about me because they had this interview with Andy Chan. Andy Chan, the, the co- of, uh, he, was, he was the double of Jackie on this Who Am I? Oh, really? Okay. So I saw that episode. They were said, yeah, they felt sorry for me. And, uh... and then when we're doing that, like Ron is the day he come in, come to, to the wardrobe and go up there. Oh, okay, now we're Corey. Oh, now we do this kick, do this move. Do yeah, and you, start, you oh, show and him what he's got to do and he has to perform it right there and then. No practicing. Yeah, so Maybe he can practice, you know, a few times with, with yourself, the stunt guy, and then he's got to do it with Jackie. Uh, I'd love to be there. I'd love to be there. But I didn't ask him, like, like I don't want to be the, taking advantage or something. Or, or, but I think I, I have something to say, absolutely. I'm going to ask uh, all my subscribers yeah. in the video to ask him. I'll even DM him on Instagram, like, uh, hey, Scott, you, you should get Ron on there, man. You know, yeah, I would, again, like honest. I could see why you wouldn't want to ask him, but I think a lot of people would want to see you because a lot of my audience um, watches his videos. Obviously, he's got a much bigger audience, but my audience will reference the art of action and talk about how great it is. And I watch it too. It's good yeah. stuff. So I haven't seen them all, but I, I've seen yeah. enough where I'm like, okay, this is a really good series, but you would be perfect on there. So I'll help get the word out. I'd amazing. love to see you on there, you know? Right, Scott is amazing. We have something in common. He he is like he always stays humble, and in this movie business, right, like like influences might affect you, but for him, like having done so many movies, to be honest, I think he's always the same. Like he always is. He will always be humble. He has a family. He's healthy. You know, like like I love Scott. I love Scott. No, he, yeah, yeah, and you know it's funny because uh, I did a video recently with Dan the Wolfman and I titled oh. it I titled it Scott Atkins challenged by Steven Seagal's illegitimate son because Dan likes the jokes and sees from Michigan that maybe his mom hooked up with Steven Skull at some point and he's the illegitimate son which oh. I don't know if he really believes I think it's just a joke but I titled the video because obviously that's an interesting title um yeah, and I yeah. told him like why are you challenging Scott Atkins man he's too nice he's ah. too humble he doesn't say things to put him out there to be challenged but essentially the video essentially the video is Dan really wanting to challenge him to a movie fight and wants to be in a movie. Oh. So it's like movie okay, fight so is cool. If, if that's the reveal and what the video, I don't mind putting that out there. Uh, because yeah. again, I I basically say what you said about Scott Atkins. Like he's too nice and humble a guy. Like he doesn't yeah. put him out there saying, I'm better than this fighter, I could beat this guy up. There's no reason to challenge him. He knows he's a great martial artist, he knows he's a movie yeah. guy, and he's not trying to create this like persona of he's this amazing real life fighter so there's no no reason to yeah. challenge him is essentially yeah. what i said yep yeah you're right i bet he can fight though and oh even yeah me, i, I have don't a... doubt that at all i don't yeah. doubt that at all but i don't yeah. think anyone necessarily should needs to or should be challenging him you know? well even me i have a small fight background i always wanted to be like blood sport itself like with right. mma and karate but i don't want i don't profile myself like that too much we don't have to and Scott, he don't have to, but I think Scott can fight. No, no joke. He, he can kick this guy, and he kicks hard. For me, actually, to fight Scott, I love it because you know we have this kind of. It's a, it's a great matchmaking. I would love to fight him one more time, in a, in a project like a real one and one fight where we both can show all our moves. Now you no see the last fighter real quick. Um... It's basically like ex fighters. They're all in their forties, and it's like a competition for like an older generation, right? Yes. I mean, yes. Scott, I, I don't know if Scott Atkins, because he's used to being the lead, I guess. I mean, I guess he is in John Wick 4, but again, you can't be the lead in John Wick 4 because it's Keanu's movie. Do you th- yeah. I wonder if he'd be interested in the, to be yeah. in Spider, because again, he's, you know, in his 40s. And... I'm going to reveal you something. I'm going to ask him at the right moment. I'm going yeah. to ask him. Yeah, ask be him very very during the Art of Action interview when you're on yeah. there. Hey, Scott, I'm, yeah. I got the last fighter yeah. movie coming out. <laughs> It would be very good for the last fight. Yeah. On the fighters. With Ron's permission, I thought we'd just reveal this now. So I don't know if you guys know Scott Atkins, if you want to message him. Ask him to get Ron on the art of action 
ask him if he could be interested in doing Ron's film, or Ron can ask him on the Art of Action. But either way, I think Ron should be on that show. Yeah, he would be very good for the last fight in that movie. And not as a villain. He'll be a good guy. He will be very good. But I can't tell the story because it's very sensitive, but he'll be amazing for the final fight in that movie. And uh, so I'm going to secure some, some good budgets for that. And I don't want, I want everybody make make him look great. Like I want everybody to look good. When do you realistically think you're going to start shooting that? Like, do you have a timeline or not? Uh, it will not be before summer next year. Not be before that. Oh, so sometime, in, in sometime possibly in the latter half of 2022 is when you're thinking yes. you might start production. Yes. Yes. I, I have people interested. I have investors interested. I have it, man. I already have things set up, actually, to be honest. Uh, so it's, it's, it's going well. And I'm very confident because you know how many – now, I'm going to shock you right now. Huh. You know how many years I have in this movie? How many years I put in this story? It, it developed over years. I'm going I'm I'm to say you probably had the idea for 10 years. No, 26 years. Oh, okay. I think so basically before, before you were ever in Who Am I? 20 years. 20 years. Real, real quick, Ron, has the story changed? Because I'm assuming yeah. you probably wanted to be the lead as a younger guy in this movie. And the story yeah. probably just evolved where you could still play it, but now it's just going to be, you know, guys in their 40s or something. Yeah. It, it's very, it's, the, the story really uh, matured, matured a lot. I, bet, I also I got bet. older. I matured. I got more life experience. And it, 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 it matured. And the drama level became so high, and, and, but still very real. Like, like you're going to cry watching it. As a man, you're going to cry. Wow. Girls will cry for sure, but men are going to cry at the end of this movie, really. Even when I tell it, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I will, I will cry too when I tell the story. Even right now, like. You <laughs> That's cool, it. man. Like, I have a few story elements I, I, I found like a half a year ago. If they were not in the movie, it, 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 the movie would have been worse. Mm. Like, like, I just found a few great story elements, which are like, bam, this is it. And if I, if I shot this movie a year ago, it wouldn't have it. And now I'm like, oh, I'm so happy that it took a little longer. Because now this is in, you know? This is genius. Like, it's a kind of, I believe the long path. It's destiny. It's almost like a religion. It's like, it's like a certain way of believing. I'm really excited about it, the way you talk about it. And the story sounds interesting, you know? Yeah. But I, the way I see it, it's almost like, you you have this 20 plus years of experience you built on to like make this you know like yeah. it, it wouldn't have been or it won't be what it will be had you not had these 20 years i mean you know all the industry and all these movies and all this stuff so all that yeah. insight you're going to use to create like this passion project you know that, exactly. that's really cool yeah. that's why that's why that's going to really stick out yeah you know remember blood sport Change the martial arts world. Big time. I want to make something. I want to make one movie which really have an impact instead of 10 small ones. Mm -hmm. When it comes to my own movie. Yeah, I want to get feelings back in people like the zombification of this society. The, 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 the purpose of life. Loving people, loving the art, all those things. Uh, having passion, like all those elements are in there. So you're, you're thinking yeah. like on a, a much deeper, deeper cinematic level yes. of having these layers there. So that, that's man. Cool, man. So after seeing that movie, you're going to really think about life. It's one of those like, movies wow. where you've got to watch multiple times to really pick everything up. Yes. Like you watch, yes. more, it's like, oh, there's these different layers that are being unpeeled that I see yeah. every time I watch it, there's a new layer in, in a deeper yeah. meaning behind all this stuff. So yes. That movie yeah. sounds good, man. Like, I want to yeah. see this thing. <laughs> you know? And oh, one thing, it's, it's interesting. My very good friend told me, you have uh, been cursed by Jackie. I said, what is the curse? He said, well, um, all the fighters in, in Jackie Chan movies, all the final fighters, the big fights, they never made it themselves. They never made it big themselves. And I said, really? But, uh, that's interesting. And now you think about it, right? All those final fighters, like, they never really made it themselves as action stars. Hmm. I said, well, I don't want to be part of this curse, you know? But, but yeah, when you think about it, it's, it's quite an interesting curse. thing he said. He's a, he's a genius, this guy. So I was thinking about it, about this curse, like the Jackie Chan curse. Like, all the everyone he fights never get really 
famous themselves. Huh. And something to think about. I don't know. He just told me. When, when did he tell you that? That was a few years ago. He said, so basically, Ron, uh, the last fighter could break this curse. Yes, yes. I want to break this curse. Exactly. Uh, now we're talking. We only have one life. Let's make the best out of it. Right? Yeah, you got to, man. You definitely got to. I mean, we are so limited. There's never enough time. But there's so much you can do. I mean, that's the yes. one, That's what evens the playing field. Like, at the end of the day, the richest guy and the poorest guy have one thing in common, and it's the most valuable thing they have in time. Like, that's the most valuable commodity, and we all have the same amount. So we got to utilize that as best we can. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, like the time to take advantage yeah. of doing something with it. Time and health, time, absolutely time. And we all have time. And the way we do it, yes, use our time. That's a very good one. I like that one. Uh, <laughs> time is beautiful, yeah. But uh, yeah, but don't get bitter. So if people think I talk like this and this, maybe they think I'm a bitter guy. No, I'm very happy. I wake up very happy. Ron is anything but bitter. Sometimes things work out for a reason. He's got a beautiful family in Thailand. He developed a new style because he kind of had to based on a knee injury, but he, he came back better and stronger. So things have a funny way of working out, and I really believe all of his experience over the last 20 years is going to make his film, The Last Fighter, that much more special. Even after those, that thing, what's happened? Sure. I'm free right now. I'm happy. I'm I enjoy it, and I'm going to share that. I'm not this boxing bag. I, I, I have a style. I have a, I have a say. We have the right to live in this world. We are a flower. We have to be open. Nobody yeah. can have the right to keep you closed. And, it's and not the right. Thing, the coolest thing is you got your most, from what I've heard, exciting project on the horizon upcoming. Yeah, that, that, that's amazing. Like, like, and I'm going to do it good. I'm not going to do it overnight. I'm not going to do it good. Oh, like yeah, you, you got to take your time, man. Like, you know, you've been on so many films uh, and yeah. learned so much and had this idea planted decades yeah. ago. So now it's ready to, you know, really yes. sprout. Yeah, yeah, and we know that. And the good thing is you talk to so many people. It's very interesting for you, too, in this channel. Like, you hear a lot of stories. <laughs> Today, yeah, for I love, sure. I love this channel, like... I didn't yeah. know, I didn't plan to ever talk to anybody, but yeah. Stephen Lambert, you know, stunt guy, was the first mm -hmm. guy I talked to, and then people really liked oh. a lot of the stuff he shared, and then everybody, like, reaches out to me, and then other people I meet, like, even, uh, you know, because we both know AJ, and then I met you through AJ, so it, it like, it builds my, my channel and yeah. just relationships and people I, I get to meet build off of other people, you know, cause it's always like, if you know this guy, then you can meet this guy, et cetera. Uh, so it's kind of cool yeah. how this channel has evolved and I'm able to talk to, like, I never would have expected to talk to, you know, a guy who had this huge fight scene with Jackie Chan. Like I might've <laughs> talked about the movie on my channel. I never expect to have the dude on the channel wow. talking about it ensuring a very unique personal experience about it wow great great and i'm very happy also that that you give me the chance normally i'm not out there on other channels so much as well and so yeah this is likewise it's, it's likewise and there's going to be lots of more i have some very interesting guys also i love to connect with you oh. and you're going to love them those are guys who also will share their heart with you and they will give something to the audience they will share their passion and and, and the audience is going to love them. They're going to be motivated, like, you know? I mean, here, here, here's the way I look at things. Like, it's really, um, you know, people that give instead of take. It's, mm. you, you get more back than you give. Like, over time, if, if yeah. you're a giving yeah. person, yeah. you're going to get more back. It's those people who are, who are takers and, and selfish. It's like they think they're getting more by taking. Yeah. In, in the long run, they're, getting, they're going to get way less. You know? That is it. That is it. They don't get that. You're right. They don't get that. We get it. They don't get it. Like they're robbing the bank. Do you think you can open an account at the same bank? Yeah, that's a great analogy. No. This is what it is. They robbed the bank one time. So they might they might steal a job from you. They might be funny. Or, or get you out of a casting. On the long term, what you said at the end, 
they're doing more damage by uncreating stuff than creating themselves. Right? Yeah. Just yeah. Yes, you, you said it right. And I can confirm that. And I have so many examples of that. So, so it's, it's this, it's, it is this mindset and the love for all of this. And that started with Van Damme and the Karate Kid and, 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 and we just continue with that. I, I think just, most people would have just quit and given up because even you said yes. after, um, who am I? It took three years. Yeah. You just got a normal yeah. job. You never gave up on the dream. And then the yeah. Hong Kong thing. And then that didn't work out until like your last day with the John Wu office. And then it yeah. kind of like was just enough to extend your stay to do what you came there initially to do. So yeah. it's, it's kind of amazing if you think about it, like, I think you were, I don't know if you believe in God or not, or if you're more spiritual or religious, but it's, yeah. really, in my opinion, a lot of ways, I think God tests people. Or if you're spiritual, there's something in the universe bigger than you, and it's testing you because it's making sure that you're strong enough to be yeah. able to do what you want to do. And if you're not, it, it's a way of the universe filtering people out. Because again, there's only so many opportunities and jobs and positions to do these things. So the universe mm -hmm. has to filter people out, whether it seems unfair or not, it has to, because we yeah. can't, hold, there'll be like 10 million movies if we all got to do it, <laughs> you know? That's it. And then nobody it would watch them. There, nobody yeah. would watch them. Like you would be the only one watching your own movie and the next guy would be the only one watching his own movie. So the yeah. universe has to filter this out and put all these obstacles and make sure the strongest guy is the one at the end of the day as you said, it's all a big test. It's all a big test. And that's why I can add something. I always say, don't be different. No, no. Be different from the different. So the, the, the guys playing movies, right? They might also disappear in a group. The guys already playing movies. Be different from the different. That makes the real difference. Yeah. Think about it. That's deep. <laughs> I yeah, but it makes sense. <laughs> different from the different. Yeah.